In this video, I will guide you step-by-step -step on how to participate in a presenizumab clinical trial, a promising treatment being studied right now in 2025. You'll learn what this treatment is, why seniors are so important to the process, how to find open trials near you, and exactly what to expect along the way. Presenizumab is an experimental antibody therapy designed to slow down or even stop the progression of Parkinson's disease. It targets the underlying disease process by attacking alpha-synuclein, a protein that builds up in the brain and is believed to play a central role in Parkinson's. This is exciting because most Parkinson's drugs today are like Band-Aids. They treat symptoms, but they don't stop the disease from getting worse. Right now, presinazumab is in Phase 3 clinical trials. This means it has already been tested for safety in smaller groups and is now being studied for how well it works in larger, more diverse groups of people with Parkinson's. For seniors, there are several unique benefits of joining a trial. First, you may gain access to cutting-edge treatments years before they are available to the public. Second, participation usually comes with extra medical attention. That means more checkups, more detailed monitoring, and more support from research teams who are deeply invested in your health. Many seniors find this reassuring because they feel more closely cared for during the study period. Now, let's get practical. How do you actually find a presenezumab clinical trial in, the, in 2025? The most reliable place to start is the official U.S. trial registry, clinicaltrials.gov. If you search for presenezumab or simply Parkinson's, you will find current studies recruiting participants. For example, one of the key trials is listed under identifier number. I posted it in the description. You'll find detailed information there, including which countries, states, and hospitals are currently enrolling participants. Another excellent resource is the Michael J. Fox Foundation Trial Finder. This foundation is dedicated to Parkinson's research and makes it simple to search for clinical trials by location, condition, and treatment type. You can visit their website, type in presinazumab, and you'll see if there's a study near you. Finally, many major research hospitals and universities are conducting these studies. Centers like UCSF, Stanford, and other large institutions often list ongoing studies on their websites. Let's walk through the practical steps to get started. Step 1. Talk to your doctor. Your neurologist or primary care doctor can help you decide if a prasinezumab trial is a good option for your health and current condition. Step 2. Search for active trials. Use clinicaltrials.gov, the Michael J. Fox Foundation Trial Finder, or hospital websites. We've included links in the description to help you get started. Step 3. Contact the study coordinator. Each trial has a coordinator who can answer your questions, check eligibility, and guide you through the application process. Step four, plan the logistics. Ask about how often you need to come for visits, whether travel assistance is provided, and if there's compensation for your time and expenses. Many studies offer travel support, lodging options, or stipends to make participation easier. Step five, involve your family or caregiver. Having a loved one join you during appointments provides extra support and helps ensure you don't miss any important details. Every clinical trial has eligibility criteria. These are the rules that determine who can join. For prasinazumab trials, the requirements usually include a confirmed diagnosis of Parkinson's within the last few years, being within a certain age range, often between 40 and 80, and being stable on your current. Why do these rules exist? because researchers need to study people who are at a specific stage of the disease so they can measure whether the treatment slows progression. If someone has had Parkinson's for a very long time, it might be harder to see the changes prasinezumab could make. Once you find a trial and apply, the process usually starts with a screening. This can include reviewing your medical history, physical and neurological exams, and sometimes brain scans or blood tests. If you meet the criteria, you are invited to join. Before you officially join, you'll go through the informed consent process. This is one of the most important steps. If accepted, you'll receive a detailed document that explains the purpose of the trial, how long it will last, what kinds of visits and tests are required, what risks or side effects might happen, and what your rights are as a participant. It's very important to read this carefully. 
ask questions, and talk with your doctor and family. Remember, participation is always voluntary. You have the right to withdraw at any time if you feel uncomfortable or if your circumstances change. So, what happens once you start? During the trial, you'll attend regular visits to the study site. These may happen once a month or every few months depending on the protocol. At each visit, doctors and nurses will monitor your symptoms, run tests, and check for any side effects. You may receive intravenous infusions of presinazumab or placebo, depending on the design of the trial. Each visit may take a few hours, and you'll be observed carefully. The advantage is that you're not only receiving the treatment, but you're also under the care of a highly attentive medical team. They'll track your progress in ways that go beyond standard doctor visits. Many participants find this gives them peace of mind. After the trial ends, you may enter a follow-up phase. This means the research team will continue checking on your health for a set period. In some cases, participants are invited to join an extension study where everyone receives the active drug. This is one way researchers reward participants and ensure they get access to promising therapies. Even if you were in the placebo group, you may later gain access to the real treatment once the trial is completed and results are published. Some seniors worry that joining a trial means being treated like a test subject. In reality, clinical trials are designed with participant safety as the top priority. Strict ethical guidelines are in place, and independent review boards oversee every step. Another concern is the possibility of side effects. With prasinazumab, side effects are still being studied, but so far they appear to be manageable. You'll always be closely monitored and your health and safety remain the primary concern of the research team. Finally, some worry about costs. The good news is that participation in clinical trials is generally free. The medication, tests, and medical visits are covered. In many cases, travel expenses are also reimbursed. If you're interested in prasinazumab trials, here's how you can take action today. 1. Use the links in the description to find ongoing studies. Two. Talk with your doctor about whether you might qualify. 3. Reach out to a trial coordinator to learn the details and ask any questions you may have. 4. Discuss the decision with your family so you feel fully supported. If you'd like to explore participating, check the links in the description below for up-to-date information. And let us know in the comments, what other Parkinson's or senior health trials would you like us to cover in our next video? We are here to listen and help you. Thank you for watching.